हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर कंटिन्यू द चैप्टर नंबर फोर थर्मोडायनामिक्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द थर्मोडायनामिक इक्विलिब्रियम व्हाट इज मीन बाय थर्मोडायनामिक इक्विलिब्रियम नाउ इक्विलिब्रियम मींस यू नो अ सिस्टम इज वी वांट in thermodynamic equilibrium so remember whatever the system this system is in thermodynamic equilibrium if it will satisfy the three conditions so which are the three conditions for thermodynamic equilibrium so three conditions are number 1 the system should be in mechanical equilibrium this is the first condition that is mechanical equilibrium system should be in mechanical equilibrium first condition second condition chemical equilibrium system should have chemical equilibrium number 3 thermal equilibrium थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम सो थर्मोडायनामिक इक्विलिब्रियम मीन्स सिस्टीम शुड बी इन मैकेनिकल इक्विब्रियम केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम एंड थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम सो वट इज अ थर्मल वट इज अ थर्मोडायनामिक इक्विलिब्रियम अ सिस्टीम इज इन थर्मोडायनामिक इक्विलिब्रियम इफ दीज फॉलोइंग थ्री कंडीशंस are satisfied simultaneously these are mechanical equilibrium chemical equilibrium and thermal equilibrium now what is mean by mechanical equilibrium so one by one we will study what is the condition of mechanical equilibrium so let us mechanical equilibrium means what remember in mechanical equilibrium first condition is there should no unbalanced force acting on the system there should be no unbalanced force this is a first condition and there should be no unbalanced force between system and its surrounding also number 2 you should remember in mechanical equilibrium the pressure throughout the system and surrounding should be same pressure should be same so in mechanical equilibrium no unbalanced force and pressure should be same these two condition if it is satisfied then system is said to be in mechanical equilibrium remember now second condition we have what is the chemical equilibrium chemical equilibrium remember a system is said to be in chemical equilibrium when there are no chemical reaction within the system so condition is in the system there should not be there should not be any chemical reaction system madhe kutli hi chemical reaction vhayla nako there should not be any chemical reaction chemical reaction jar system madhe hot nasel ta ti system equilibrium madhe ahe asa manaycha hai lakshat gya now a system which is in chemical equilibrium in that system chemical composition manje system kay consist ahe chemical composition of the system should be same chemical composition of the system should be same and now third condition is what is mean by thermal equilibrium so in thermal equilibrium all of you know 
सुरुवातीला जर आपण बघितलं आहे वेन द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सिस्टेम इज सेम टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सिस्टेम इज सेम देन द सिस्टेम इज सेट टू बी इन थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम सो टेम्परेचर शुड नॉट चेंज इट शुड बी युनिफॉर्म इट शुड बी सेम सो इन मैकेनिकल इक्विलिब्रियम नो अनबैलेंस फोर्स प्रेशर सेम इन केमिकल इक्विलियम there should not be any chemical reaction takes place chemical composition should be same in thermal equilibrium temperature should be same so if this three equilibrium is satisfied by the system then it is said to be thermodynamic equilibrium okay now the another important point that is we have to study what is the equation of state remember in this thermodynamic equilibrium what is the equation of state equation of state which is called as equation of state we know the state variables state variables apela state variables maithi hai state variables means what pressure volume okay then the relation between relation between state variables relation between state variables is called equation of state mathematical relation mathematical relation between state variables is called as a equation of state for example for example you have the equation of state for ideal gas you all of you know equation of state for ideal gas my ideal gas equation all of you know what is that ideal gas equation pv equal to n rt this equation is known as equation of state for ideal gas so it is the relation between state variables pressure volume temperature so what is the uh, meaning of is symbol here where p is pressure v is the volume t is the temperature n is the number of moles of the gas and r is the gas constant so this is the equation of state for ideal gas now the relation between pressure volume for the ideal gas which is given by boyle's law and according to this we can have the pv diagram so what is mean by pv diagram let us we can see pv diagram the graphical representation of what is the meaning of pv diagram the graphical representation of pressure and volume the graphical representation of pressure and volume is called a pv diagram now now the equation of state we know pv equal to nrt so in that n is constant r is constant but pv and t are dependent so if you consider the pv diagram it is also known as a pv curve it is also known as a indicator curve so different names are there pv diagram pv curve or indicator diagram it is also called as pv curve or it is also called as indicator diagram yala indicator diagram asa hi mhantat lakshat gya ata hi ji pv diagram ahe ही जर आपण सिंपल पीव्ही डायग्राम किंवा टिपिकल पीव्ही डायग्राम बघितली तर टिपिकल पीव्ही डायग्राम फॉर व्हॉट आयडियल गॅस फॉर व्हॉट आयडियल गॅस सो इफ यू कन्सिडर ॲट कॉन्स्टंट टेम्परेचर ॲट कॉन्स्टंट टेम्परेचर वॉट इज द रिलेशन बिट्वीन पी अँड व्ही सो ॲट कॉन्स्टंट टेम्परेचर pressure volume changes and this is given by 
along the no boils law so we can draw the pv diagram so let we can take on vertical axis there will be pressure on this axis there will be volume initially volume will be v1 final volume will be v2 but remember here final pressure p uh, initial pressure p1 final pressure p2 <coughs> but why i have taken here p1 and here p1 and here p2 because they are inversely proportional so at smaller volume pressure will be higher because they are inversely proportional according to boyle's law so this is our one point and this is the this is the greater volume but smaller pressure so here this is the initial condition we called this is a final condition we called and the curve is like this this is known as pv diagram for ideal gas and at constant temperature if you have consider so this coordinates are here v1 p1 and this coordinates are here v2 p2 this is known as a pv diagram this is a pv diagram for ideal gas remember now in this diagram in this pv diagram we have draw the pressure and volume curve this is at constant temperature so this curve is known as isotherm this curve is known as isotherm remember this curve is known as isotherm why it is known as isotherm because this is a pv diagram drawn at constant temperature now remember in this pv diagram if you consider the concept of positive and negative work so what is mean by positive work and what is mean by negative work with the pv diagram that we have to explain so let us see pv diagram for pv diagram for positive and negative work so let us see pv diagram with the concept of positive and negative work so let us we can consider a gas is taken inside the cylinder and which is a which has a one end with a movable frictionless and massless piston and that can be expand with varying pressure or it can be compressed with varying a uh, pressure so remember here we can have the first condition where we consider that the gas will expand at constant pressure so first condition we have here pv diagram showing the gas expand at constant pressure so sorry three conditions are there suppose we consider <coughs> pressure volume varies these are the different conditions third one is at constant pressure so one by one we consider first one suppose we consider expansion 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 means what volume will expansion of gas at constant temperature means volume will increase its volume increases due to outer displacement of the piston so what happens here so this is the pv diagram shows so we have the pv diagram for the expansion initial volume final volume then what about pressure all of you know pressure inverse volume increases so pressure decreases so first condition is here second condition is here so this is the graph of 
or this is the first state final state so this is the pv diagram for expansion here volume increases v1 to v2 this is the volume increases v1 to v2 remember and volume increases but pressure will decreases that is the point and uh, at constant pressure at constant temperature so here volume changes that's why work done is there so what is the work done work done is equal to small work done integration from initial volume to final volume but what is the work done dw dw is the pdv that expression already we have determined already we have find in the previous lecture so this will be pdv or p delta v whatever you can take initial volume to final volume now remember as dv is a greater than 0 means this work is positive remember and work done is nothing but area under the curve whatever the area under curve is known as a uh, work done and therefore this value will be integration from v1 to v2 that is a pdv which is a greater than zero that's why this work is a positive means when gas will expand then there is a positive work done now another case where where there will be compression so in compression of gas what happens let us see in compression of gas volume volume decreases so we have initially volume is smaller volume decreases so this is the initially smaller volume so v2 is the final state here compression takes place not increase in volume so decrease in volume means here is the initially v1 is greater so that's why v2 is there compression will be takes place and at this time what about the pressure so this will be pressure p1 and p2 inversely proportional volume decreases remember here again volume decreases so v2 to v1 decrease in volume at the same time pressure increases because there is a compression this will take place at constant temperature so we have this graph this is the point we have initial and final remember so this is the curve shows here we have this curve will be showing here that is the state 1 to 2 and this is the PV diagram for compression so pressure of the gas increase and the work done by the gas is now negative because you know work done is equal to V1 to V2 PDV but DV is a DV is a less less than zero means it should be negative work done remember there should be negative work done so here varying pressure two conditions expansion and compression of gas number three if we consider volume of gas changes at constant pressure means the condition is at constant pressure means when pressure is constant pressure constant so what is the pv diagram remember this is the pressure on y axis and this will be volume on x axis pressure and volume now remember at constant pressure pressure is constant but volume increases so v1 to v2 but whatever the pressure is here that will be constant means for v1 volume is same pressure for v2 volume is same pressure so this will be same 
so this is the straight line one state to another state and this is the volume v1 v2 so straight line parallel to volume axis is the pv diagram for uh, gas at constant pressure so three pv diagrams we have drawn in this case remember in this case remember work done during the volume change at constant pressure is final we have work done is equal to p d v and that is the pressure into final volume minus initial volume is the change in volume and which is a greater than zero and therefore this is also positive so three conditions we have taken in the expansion of gas there is a positive work done in compression of gas there is a negative work done because volume decreases and at constant pressure there is a positive work done so this is a very important point about this work done and pv diagram now in thermodynamic process so what are the thermodynamic process remember thermodynamic process means what process or which process remember thermodynamic process means a system or thermodynamics is process means procedure by which initial state of system changes to final state initial state of system changes to final state remember this is known as a thermodynamic process what is mean by thermodynamic process thermo dynamic process what is mean by thermodynamic process system changes from initial state to final state is known as a thermodynamic state during the change there may be transfer of heat from system to surrounding remember possibility thermodynamic process for example sir apan dila water boils water boils in this water boiling process this is the thermodynamic process so in this case water boils means heat is transfer from system to surroundings from environment so in this system heat may release or have sort that is a very important point and therefore in this thermodynamic process what are the path of a pv diagram if you see the pressure and in thermodynamic process if we see the pv diagram then what is the path of pv diagram what is the path of pv diagram so path means we know way path means way path means way in what are the different way in which the system goes from initial state to final state that is represented on pv diagram is known as a path of pv diagram for example what are the different ways in which the system change is known as a path of pv diagram suppose we consider pv diagram pressure and volume suppose initial volume v1 at that pressure is a pi this point we consider then final volume is a vf at the same time here final pressure will be pf because we are considering pv diagram at constant temperature remember and therefore in different way all of you know how the system change pv diagram we have to draw and in this pv diagram we have to show the path in which 
the system change so directly all of you know in the first way that we have seen already this is the path in which the system will change so a and b point we consider this is the first way second way we consider here that when we have the we have the volume change at constant pressure this will the second way and from that this will continue at constant volume so this is the second way and third way same to here this will continue and now here the volume constant pressure will change and it will continue here because a to b is the final state so in which different way this is we called third way this is our second way this is our third way it will continue here so what are the different path one a to b directly two a c b third a d b these are the path of system change remember in this different path whatever you consider first path second path and third path in this different path what is the relation between path and work done remember relation between path and work done so first we have pressure and volume both change pressure and volume dokhi badlat astil manje pressure constant वॉल्यूम चेंज वॉल्यूम कॉन्स्टंट प्रेशर चेंज अस नहीं प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम बोथ चेंज सो दिस इज आवर ग्राफ नंबर वन दिस इज ग्राफ नंबर वन सो इन दिस ग्राफ वी कैन फाइंड द रिलेशन फॉर द वर्क डन लेट अस वी कैन ड्रॉ दिस फिगर अगेन अगेन वी कैन ड्रॉ दिस ग्राफ सो वी हैव द इनिशियल वॉल्यूम वी आई final volume vf initial pressure pi final pressure pf so initial point a final point b then in this condition the path is like this we have shown in the above diagram also this is the one way so in this case pv diagram is here so in this way initial state initial state having the coordinate means a point having the coordinate vi pi b point that is a final state having the coordinate vf pf vf pf and therefore in this diagram remember pv diagram when system changes itself from a to b both the pressure and volume change variation is there here which type of variation pressure decreases while volume increases and therefore work done <coughs> by the system is given by the area under the curve this is given by area under the curve remember and therefore the work done under the curve is a positive if volume increases and work done is negative if volume decreases 
now first the volume changes at constant pressure and then pressure changes at constant volume remember this is our second way so in the second way what is there what is the second way in this previous diagram once again let us see first first volume change at constant pressure pressure is constant hai baka pressure constant hai pan volume badalta hai volume pressure constant volume change now here volume constant pressure change so what is the condition here number 2 condition what is the number 2 condition first volume changes at constant pressure and then and then pressure changes pressure changes at constant volume at constant volume baka kay zale ma aple second graph apan kadla hai already punha ekda apan ithe dakhavto hai या कंडीशन मध्य ग्राफ कस है बुरुआती लक्षा गया इनिशियल वॉल्यूम फाइनल वॉल्यूम इनिशियल प्रेशर फाइनल प्रेशर तो का सुरुआती करो ये बगा तो ए पॉइंट सी पॉइंट पर फाइनल स्टेट लो बी पॉइंट मैं इतने का कंडीशन मध्य लक्षा गया सुरुआती वॉल्यूम चेंज प्रेसर कॉन्स्टंट देन प्रेसर चेंज एट कॉन्स्टंट वॉल्यूम सो इन दिस ग्राफ रिमेम्बर इन दिस ग्राफ वर्क डन जे प्रोसेस रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय दिस एरिया म्हणजे तुम्ही जर याचा प्रेशर व्हॉल्यूम बदलला आहे की नाही तर इथे जो एवढा काय एरिया आहे तो पूर्ण एरिया अंडर दिस लाईन ए सी दॅट विल शोज द वर्क डन बाय द प्रोसेस थर्मोडायनामिक प्रोसेस म्हणजे याचा एरिया काढायचा एरिया काढायचा म्हणजे काय लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ सिंपल सो दॅट वर्क डन is nothing but area under curve area under curve so this is the area under curve that will shows us the work done now third way shevat ji tisri way kashi baka tumcha samor diagram agodar dakhavli puna vegli kadun dakhavta hai volume initial final प्रेशर इनिशियल फाइनल इनवर्सली असल्यामुळे वेगवेगळ्या पॉइंटला दाखवलंय सुरुवातीला बघा व्हॉल्युम कॉन्स्टंट आहे व्हॉल्युम कॉन्स्टंट आहे प्रेशर चेंज झालं नंतर प्रेशर कॉन्स्टंट आहे व्हॉल्युम चेंज झालं सो दिस इज आवर थर्ड वे पण इथे फक्त एवढाच एरिया येतो ह्या प्रोसेसमध्ये लक्षात घ्या फक्त एरिया अंडर कर एवढाच येतोय म्हणून इथे वर्क जर वर्क जर बघितलं तिन्ही डायग्राम जर नीट ऑब्झर्व केल्या तर इन विच बघा ही एक डायग्राम त्याचा एरिया आपण अंडर कर घेतला आणि ही एक डायग्राम ही एक डायग्राम आणि ही बघा थ्री पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेस थर्मोडायनामिक प्रोसेसच्या तीन पाथ आहे एक दोन आणि ही तीन याच्यापैकी सेडेड पोर्शनचा एरिया कोणत्या फिगरमध्ये जास्त आहे ग्रेटर आहे तर ह्या फिगरमध्ये म्हणून ह्या केसमध्ये वर्क डन सगळ्यात जास्त होईल आणि इथे तिसऱ्या डायग्राममध्ये सेडेड एरिया हा कमी आहे सो वर्क डन इज अ व्हेरी स्मॉल रिमेंबर सो इन ऑल दिस प्रोसेस वी हॅव द वर्क डन वी कॅन कॅल्क्युलेट नाव the thermodynamic process which takes place or which change from initial state to final state and in this change or during the change 
there may be transfer of heat into the system and from the uh, its surrounding and because of that the heat may release from the system to environment and heat may absorb from surrounding to uh, system and that's why the work done by the system or on the system takes place and that's why it is positive or negative so in this way we have find the work done we have find the pv diagram we learn the pv diagram for different conditions and what is the path of the thermodynamic process with the pv diagram so this is the today's lecture next topic we will continue in the next lecture thank you